potatoes are super duper 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 dirty. When you're cutting anything, you do not want to be watching something else while you're cutting. You want your eyes on your fingers, okay? Eyes on the knife. And you wanna make sure that you're mindful when your fingers are tucked. I said I tuck, tuck your fingers in, tuck your thumb in, and you wanna put only your knuckles on there. So you almost wanna make a fist. And cut like that. this do the same mm, steady it no fingers out right and boom okay turn it over be very mindful of your hands rinse them off really good right keep in mind i'm doing fried potatoes today um this potato had a little bit of blemishes on it and so i like i just clipped off the the tips of the blemish and I make sure that the white is showing from the potato and I inspect all of my potatoes and just because it's a little blemished it doesn't mean that it's going to be dark on the inside cut it a little different see that little blemish um, cut out and now you see a little blemish when I cut the blemish off you see it looked like so this is your original uh, french fry Yeah, that's it. I'm going to show you how I like mine. So I like circles, but lately I've been doing both. Uh, to make a circle potato, you have to cut it like that, and then I'll show you one more time. Boom. Variety like my shows, like my interviews too. Here's my oil, bro. I like to use sesame seed oil. That's what I'm into right now. Sometimes I like to turn my oil on before I cut my potatoes. It suggests having the oil turned on for at least three minutes. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's hot. You see my chair? That's how you gotta watch your french fries. Literally, do not leave out of the kitchen while you're cooking french fries. Bro, so I had these in here for a couple minutes. You can tell that they're getting a little bit brown. So what I do is I go in and I put them over. I don't know if you knew this, but these are called eyes. I is very educational. So this potato, this one looks like it's not fully done because it's um it's kind of opaque to me. Oh, I like that sparkle. It's not a filter. And by the way, my buddy's name is Spark. Then I take my potato out like so. Okay. Uh, there's this thing called a, I think it's called a coriander. I say you can use that if you don't have napkin. I'm just being fancy because you don't have to take your potatoes out on that. But you could drain them like this and just let them get your, get your plate greasy. <laughs> like regular french fries. So just want you know, it's easy like that and like that. Okay. Like, bro, I was gonna tell you what to do with the potato that's not, um, the, it doesn't seem like it's fully like soft as you like. You just put it back in. And this is what you do with the next one. Put the rest of them in. And cook them with the rest of the new fries that you're putting in. Don't worry about those two burning. Okay. And I was trying to say like, if you're, if you're, um, oil isn't like super duper duper hot, it might be easier for you to put your potatoes in and not be afraid, but you just have to watch them for a little bit longer because then the oil will heat up. And for me, I don't know if it's the fact that I'm using sesame seed oil, but I feel like the second round of fries, cause you wanna make all your fries that you cut up the same day, if you can. If you can't, you wanna make them the next day, but the air that hits the fries, it'll make um, the potatoes that aren't fried, it'll make the potato turn dark, dark brown or black and it looks dirty, but it's still, it'll still be uh, crunchy and fresh enough to put in, but you'll have a different color french fry. Um, that doesn't bother you, but you'll be fine.